I'm Dr. David Swain. I'm a podiatrist and wound care specialist, and today I'll be talking about diabetic foot ulcers. For patients with diabetes, you have approximately 25% chance of developing a foot ulcer in your lifetime, so it's important for people with diabetes to understand um, about diabetic foot ulcers. Diabetic foot ulcers are dangerous uh, because they account for 25% of hospitalizations for patients with diabetes. Diabetic foot ulcers account for approximately two-thirds of all non-traumatic amputations in the United States. Uh, so correct treatment of the ulcers will help prevent uh, amputations in our patients. Treating diabetic foot infections and ulcers is uh, multifactorial. You have to address their edema, their malnutrition, any bony prominences, peripheral neuropathy, any underlying infections, and their peripheral arterial disease. If these things are not addressed, then the ulceration will be less likely to heal and could result in hospitalization or amputation. For diabetic ulcers that are infected, uh, often they will need surgery and antibiotics or a combination of the two, uh, often for up to six to eight weeks. Approximately half of people with diabetes with an ulceration also have underlying peripheral arterial disease, which will need to be addressed to help with healing. That's why referral to a vascular specialist is so vital to uh, treating these patients. To treat diabetic foot ulcers, we use many different modalities, including offloading, debridement, antibiotics. We use different types of grafts and surgery. Uh, in addition, we'll use hyperbaric oxygen to help uh, those that uh, qualify. Uh, using all these modalities together, we can have a, a better chance of healing the ulcer and preventing a diabetic leg amputation. A person with diabetes uh, will be at risk for foot ulcer, especially if they're um, sugars are high, if they're not monitoring their feet. Um, all these things uh, play an important role. Uh, it's very important for our diabetic patients to check their feet every day for any wounds. If they see any wounds, then they need to make an appointment with a specialist immediately. Uh, if they can be seen early enough, then we can prevent most amputations. Our patients with diabetes, uh, when they're checking their feet, they need to take a mirror and evaluate the top and the bottom you're looking for any discoloration, any openings, any drainage, anything that is hurting. Uh, these can all be signs that there's something else going on that needs further investigation. For our patients with diabetes with uh, large ulcerations, uh, we use different types of dressings to help heal the wounds. Some of them absorb the uh, drainage, other uh, dressings offload. Uh, we use casts uh, to help heal our patients faster. Uh, this is considered the gold standard for diabetic foot ulcers. The earlier we can start treatment on patients with diabetic foot ulcers, the more likely we are to prevent amputation. Uh, we have a very high amputation prevention rate, uh, but the earlier the patient comes to see us with their problems, the better chance we have of saving their legs. Typically, a person with a diabetic foot ulcer will need to come in at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, until the wound is healed. And even after the wound is healed, they'll need to come in for uh, frequent follow-ups to help prevent new ulcerations from developing. This is Dr. David Swain from First Coast Cardiovascular Institute. Please visit our website for more information.